Hi everyone, I'm Rachel with Limbo's product team. Today, we're going to be talking about managing multiple locations and creating regions in Limbo. Depending on your permissions and plan with Limbo, some of your screens may be different than mine. If you have any questions, reach out to our support team. Let's get started. First, let's define locations and regions and when you'd want to use each. Locations are used to break out responsibilities and limit user access. In order for a user to perform work in Limbo, they need to be assigned a role. Roles are location-based, so a user can only perform work at a location where they're assigned a role. A region is a group of locations. You have to have at least three locations in your Limbo account in order to create a region. Regions provide the following value. Regions help organize locations. Nesting locations within a region creates a visual divide between your different locations and Limbo. You can go even further by nesting regions, which we'll cover in a later section. Regions allow you to quickly query multiple locations to compare and contrast their performance. And finally, regions allow you to layer more permissions. For example, you can quickly assign a regional manager a role to all of the locations within a region, while the managers at each individual location only have access to their location. Now that you understand the benefits of regions, let's create one. Navigate to the Manage Locations page by clicking the Locations icon from the Navigation menu. From the expanded menu, click Manage. From the Manage Locations page, select Regions. Then select Add a Region. Name your region in the text field. In this example, we'll call this New York. Now that the region is created, we need to nest the locations. Hover to the left of a location until the four-way arrow icon appears. Drag and drop the location under the region. The order of your locations will appear within a region based on the order you drag and drop them. Repeat this process for all required locations. If you have locations that don't fit within a region, they'll be nested under No Region. When you expand the Locations menu, the No Region category will be at the same level as other regions. You can expand or collapse your options by using the caret icon. For quick access, you can search for your locations by using the search bar. Now that you know how to create regions, let's talk about nesting regions. Most Limbo customers don't need this level of detail, but it is useful in some instances. Nesting regions within regions provides the same benefits that creating regions does, but on an even more granular scale. Make sure you've created all the regions that you plan to nest. In this example, I've created New York and New Jersey as regions. Now I need to create my topmost region. I'll call it Northeast. I'll repeat the same process I did when I nested my locations by grabbing the four-way arrow icon and dragging and dropping my New York and New Jersey regions under Northeast. Just as we could with regions, you can expand or collapse your options by using the caret icon or use the search bar to quickly find the location you need. Thanks so much for watching. If you have additional questions, visit our Help Center or reach out to our support team to learn more.